Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad that you found us here on YouTube and have joined our tribe of survivors post-narcissist. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe as uh, the bigger we can get this channel, the more um, people we can reach and a bigger community we can have to help each other. You know, I love uh, I love reading your guys' comments. Um, Thank you so much for all the the love and support from my last video of my um, my my kitty <laughs> that I lost this past week. But today's talk, I wanna I wanna talk about how the narcissist doesn't get over us because we forget that um, the narcissist is almost like just a narcissist and that they will not get over us. We're so concerned about trying to kind of get over them and heal ourselves and move on from this relationship. Uh, we think, and this is very, very much on purpose, we think that they're over us in a heartbeat and that they're off to their new supply and love bombing and they're happy and life is a bowl of cherries for them. But you have to remember that's completely an illusion and the narcissist doesn't get over us. That's why we're always in danger of a hoover. You know, if if you're listening to this channel and these talks, it means that you're doing, you know, proper self work on yourself to heal yourself. And that is something a narcissist will never do. That's why they can never move on and heal from any relationship that they've ever had. And they'll never get over any breakup. They don't know how to do their own self work so they can improve. Instead, what they do is continue their cycle of finding new supply, love bombing them, sucking every ounce of fuel out of them, discarding them, you know, and then moving on. <laughs> and that's their cycle. So, you know, the mentality of a narcissist is that they don't need to do self-work. You know, the problem is always everybody else. You know, the reason why their relationship didn't work out is because some it was someone else's um, faults and problems. Because they'll see themselves almost as perfect in the relationship and they had to leave or move on or discard you because there was something wrong with you. And as they go on through their relationship after relationship, they get faster and faster at it, love bombing harder and faster. And then, and then like they'll get, if you dated the narcissist, say for a year and you got married after a year, the relationship after that, they're going to date them only for six months before they go and get married to them. You know, and if they had kids with you after two years, after just one year from their next relationship, they're going to have kids with that person. So, and that's what they do. They don't know how to look within themselves and they can't. I mean, if a narcissist was really going to look at themselves, like how scary would that be? So they're never going to do that. And you really have to look internally um, to do self-work, to, to, to fix things that go wrong instead they just get another mask and flip it on and move on to the new supply and when you know that that's what's happening with them and the reason they always come back for the hoover is because they never got over you they still they still want you but their ego will never let you know that or anybody else know that and this happens with friends as well you know like all the friends that you had while you guys were um, in your relationship, a lot of times, and it's very upsetting, they steal your friends away and turn them into flying monkeys. And then they actually get fuel from friends that way and then discard them. And they don't, they don't um, feel like they need to fix the relationship with their friends either. They always think they can just get other friends that can do more for them, you know? So they're like, they're like, that's why if you see, or sorry, like, listen, I guess to one of my other talks about the aging narcissist, it's a scary outcome for them because they never do any self work and establish real relationships. And they always end up alone and they always maintain the illusion 
that they are over you. You know, um, it's almost like in in a normal relationship, uh, you always have that very first uh, burst out of like, oh, I don't need them. You know, like you see these guys in a normal relationship, they um, when they break up, they don't they act like their heart isn't broken and they go out and have fun and they try to get you know date and try to you know concentrate on work and all that stuff but for normal guys they eventually it's a short-lived burst eventually they withdraw and look within and do self-work and then um they they kind of go into hermit mode for a bit and don't date and then when they feel like they're ready and they've healed and worked on themselves enough and then they go out and and start dating seriously to get another relationship okay so that's like the normal path but a narcissist doesn't do that they go and are forever in the going out and you know let's go be successful and let's date and let's but they just go out and get new supply they never kind of go into hermit mode and just work on themselves which is what you're supposed to do after relationship and that's what a lot of you a lot of you guys are doing right now you're you know you're listening to youtube videos you're um you know seeking advice you're getting insight you're healing you're working on yourself you're trying to you're getting understanding about what happened in a relationship and so and that's what should tell you because a lot of people out there think they're they were the narcissist and that was (laughs) you're not you're listening to this talk you are not the narcissist they are it's their way of um, making you feel like that was very much on purpose trying to get you to make you feel like you were the narcissist but you're not you're you're trying to improve yourself you're trying to better your health yourself and you're trying to heal properly okay so you you are not the narcissist they are you're normal (laughs) um and you will eventually all of us no matter how bad the breakup was we're all eventually going to heal and get over them properly not by delusioning ourselves or masking over it and or going out and getting into a new relationship and doing all that you know we're not all going to do that even like we might for for a short time but we're really all going within to work on ourselves and then move on to have a healthy relationship But the narcissist will never do that and they're forever actually going to still want you. They always want to have you as an option to go back to and that's what the hoovering is. It means and it also means they will never ever get over you. You know they they just collect their jars of hearts of everybody and never want to kind of let them go. You know it's it's an absolute smoke and mirrors illusion that they're in this perfect relationship with the new supply and they're on purpose trying to make the new supply seem better than you even though they're not and and that they're over you instantly that it's it they are not they are not they are completely burying any kind of emotions that they have masking over it in and keeping themselves distracted with the love bombing and they never ever go within they just keep moving forward and going into new relationships and so don't think that well this is you know because like a lot of us feel so it's unfair that we're going through such carnage and they're off traveling the world having this great time but the thing is they will never ever be happy the way you know we have potential to be happy with new relationships you know they're in this endless cycle with a very very dark ending always so you know like that and that's why i'm doing these talks to like let people know that we we're all going to be okay you know we're we're doing the self work we're coming together a lot of us in the comments are always helping each other like giving insight about the relationship that they have so we're all going to be okay so we have to just kind of leave the narcissist behind we can't fix them we know that they're always going to come back to hoover us because they're never going to ever get over us and they can look like they're happy with their new supply all they want but 
really they are they get more and more empty inside the the more through life as they go through all these relationships and you almost it's really actually quite sad because we've, we've educated ourselves and we know what the narcissist is and and where they're headed and we are able to um, move on more with our lives and not give them fuel and and know that everything that you see them doing is an absolute illusion they didn't work not one day on themselves to improve themselves or their relationship they actually got worse so don't <laughs> don't think that um, that they've moved on and they're all happy that they, they did not they actually still miss um, the relationship they had with you but they don't know how to fix themselves they don't know how to do self-work they just knew how to move on and that's what they did that's what they did so um, thank you so much guys for all your support um, I'm so glad that you guys have found us here I look forward to reading all of your comments and, um, and suggestions for other uh, videos that you want me to talk about and I'm just so glad that you guys found us here on YouTube as we all move forward post-narcissist.